Hello again, it's Tony. Today we're going to be talking about how to properly shim the gas cylinder and front band on an M14 or an M1A and also gas cylinder alignment. Uh, shimming a gas cylinder is very, very important. Um, what it does is it keeps the front band and the uh, gas cylinder. Um, here I've got a gas cylinder here and here's your, uh, your front band and front band fits over the front of the uh, fits over the barrel and what you're trying to do is you're trying to stop these two pieces from uh, fitting too loosely together so we'll go ahead and show you that so here we've got a rifle with a uh, gas cylinder installed and we're going to you can see right here that the gas uh, gas cylinder in the front band relationship uh, is it's very very loose. Okay, and one of the ways you quantify that is by uh, taking the gas plug off. Okay, and yeah, I pre loosened it so uh, just for the purposes of this film. So when you install the gas lock, you'll notice that I can turn it. Uh, to about the 11 o'clock position. Okay, so you can see here, um, got it basically at about the 11 o'clock position before it snugs down and completely locks. Now I can't keep going, so what I have to do is back it off. Okay, and because I have to back it off, now that gas cylinder can slide forward because it slides forward. Now our front band is loose. Okay, so what we're going to do is tighten this up. Okay, and uh, if I had better tools, I could tell you, you know, what you want to do is is get basically a feeler gauge, and you can put a feeler gauge in here. Um, you know, let's just say for sake of argument that this razor blade is a feeler gauge, and you would just basically keep on putting feeler gauges until you get one. That, uh, that fits in pretty tightly and you can say okay that's going to be my thickness so now we have these shims okay and they usually come in sets of three uh, of different thicknesses and uh, so these shims are going to go behind the front band um, on the barrel shoulder and so what we're going to do is uh, you know we're going to uh, obviously you want to remove your flash suppressor first okay um, because you're going to have to take everything off the end of the barrel. And I'm just going to loosen that. We're going to slide that gas cylinder off completely. And um, because this rifle's already been shimmed, um, I'm kind of cheating. I already have the thickness that I need. So we're going to slide. There's uh, two shims here. And we're just going to slide it over the barrel. And we're going to slide it um, onto that shoulder. Um, and they'll just stop there. And then you just go ahead with your uh, front band and you go ahead and put that up against the stock ferrule. And we're gonna, I'm gonna slide our gas cylinder back on. Okay, and now we're going to uh, put our gas lock on. Now, if you notice, um, it's got one side where you can see where the gas plug has been. Um, and actually, that's something else you can do. Sometimes, if you want to flip this. Um, this this gas lock went on this direction here, but sometimes uh, with commercial gas locks, if you flip it around that way, you might get a different time. And we'll see what this one does. And this one just so happens to lock up the same way, regardless. But just for the sake of its consistency, we're going to um, put it back on the way it's supposed to go. So 
So now we've got one that locks up right here at roughly the 530 position. Okay. And um, that is really about where you want it. Okay. Just flip it up upside down there. Okay. And you want just some moderate pressure to have to push it um, into alignment with the gas cylinder. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to check the gas port alignment. So you can see here I've got this hole, right? And so that hole, I've got another barrel here, that hole lines up with this hole on the barrel, okay? And so that hole, um, you can stick a, a 1 16th Allen wrench in that hole and that goes into the barrel, okay? So what you want to do um, and this hole is actually bigger than this hole, so you have a little bit of play front to back. Um, <clears throat> so we're just going to stick this Allen wrench in that hole, and we're going to stick it all the way in the barrel. Okay, and you just want to visually check that uh, that it did indeed and what you want to do is lock your bolt to the rear. Okay. So once you have this Allen wrench in there, we're just going to look down into the barrel, okay, and uh, see if you can see, you know, let's see if I can get a good picture. Okay. And you can actually see it right there, that that Allen wrench has gone all the way through the barrel. Okay, so I'm basically just shining a light on my bolt, and I can see that it's down there. So that... Okay, so what that tells us is that the... Um, the gas port in the barrel is aligned with the gas port in the gas cylinder and that um, it's also going through the spindle valve which you can see is um, if this roll pin is perpendicular to the barrel that means uh, your gas valve is open and you're getting gas through there so now we have a good uh, a good time on our gas lock and Notice I can't, I can't move this front band around anymore, and that's how that's how you want it. Now, um, now what you don't want is you don't want you don't want to have um, a gas lock at the time so early about here or here. Um, that's going to put too much stress on the barrel, and you're probably going to uh, disrupt something within the barrel because it's too tight and you're going to see accuracy suffer. Um, we had a guy recently um, that had that problem we told him his gas lock was too tight and he backed off the shims that he had and he did it so that it locks up this way and um, his groups uh, came back to to what they should have been. Okay, so and you also don't want it to uh, you don't want to have to back off the gas lock to get it aligned with the gas plug, um, you you basically want it just right. So uh, it's not really a hard task to do. So from this point, go ahead and put your flash suppressor back on, and you're ready to go. And you should watch your groups uh, improve greatly. Thanks for watching.